Assalamualaikum. Hello. I am Nurul Imania binti Khairullah from SK Kuala Kubu Baru, Selangor. You can call me Teacher Iman. Today, I will be teaching you Unit 2 every day with all the Year 3 pupils. We are going to talk about occupation. Before we start for Year 3 pupils, please get your notebook, stationery, slate and stylus, braille, as well as your Get Smart Plus 3 students book ready with you. Now, let's do some exercise. Firstly, put both hands forward with the palms facing up. Yes, that's right. Then, make a fist. Good job! Now, release your fingers. Let's do it together slowly. We repeat for five times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Well done! For your information, apart from the open and handheld skills activity, there are many other fine motto activities that pupils can do on their own at home. These include cutting paper, tearing paper, arranging blocks, inserting beads, holding ball, and even kneading dough. These fine motor skills are very important to train pupils' fingers to be more sensitive, especially for pupils with visual impairment who use Braille code. So now, shall we start our lesson? Pupils, here are the objectives that I would like you all to achieve by the end of the lesson. First, spell the name of occupations. Second, identify and describe occupations. Now, I want to explain a little bit about Braille Dots. Braille dots contain six dots called cells. Each cell contains two columns, namely left and right. Dots one, two, three are arranged in the left column. Dots four, five, six are arranged in the right column. Now, I would like to tell a story entitled, Who is he? Ahmad lives in Kuantan, Pahang. He lives with his wife, Salma. They live with their two children, Amir and Sarah. Amir is a doctor. He treats people who are sick in Kuantan while Sarah is a dentist. She fakes people's teeth in Kuantan. Ahmad loves his family. Ahmad works as a firefighter in Kuantan. He likes his job. He is a good firefighter. Ahmad became a firefighter because he likes to help people. Ahmad protects the citizens of Kuantan. He puts out fires 
and rescues people. He keeps the citizens safe. Sometimes, he visits schools. He talks to students. The students like Ahmad. Ahmad is a hero in Kuantan. Based on this story, can you tell me who are the characters involved? Excellent! Ahmad as a firefighter. Sama as Ahmad's wife. Amir as Ahmad and Salma's son. And he is a doctor. Sarah as Ahmad and Salma's daughter. And she is a dentist. Well done! Now, who can tell me what is occupation? Yes, occupation is a job or profession that can give you income. With the income, we can help ourselves and our family. Occupation also can contribute to develop our country. So, if you want money, you have to get a job or occupation. But before that, you have to study hard. So now, let's spell with me and learn about occupation. Please give full attention during this activity. The first word is firefighter. F I R E F I G H T E R. Firefighter. In Braille code, the dots for letter F is 1, 2, and 4. For letter I is 2 and 4. Letter R is one, two, three, and five. Letter E is one and five. Letter F is one, two, and four. Letter I is and four. Letter G is one, two, four, and five. Letter H is one, two, and five. Letter T is two, three, four, and five. Letter E is one and five. Letter R is one, two, three, and five. And that is Firefighter in Braille Code. Do you want to know what does a firefighter do? Firefighter puts out fire and rescues people like us. 
Next is farmer. F A R M E R farmer. In braille code, the dots for letter F is one, two, and four. For letter A is one. Letter R is one, two, three, and five. Letter M is one, three, and four. Letter E is one and five. Letter R is one, two, three, and five. And that is farmer in Braille code. Do you want to know what does a farmer do? Farmer usually has a farm where he grows vegetables and fruits so that we can buy vegetables and fruits. Next is doctor. D O C P O R Doctor In Braille code, the dots for letter D is 1, 4 and 5 for letter O is one, three, and five. Letter C is one and four. Letter T is two, three, four, and five. Letter O is one, three, and five. Letter R is one, two, three, and five. And that is Doctor in Braille code. Do you want to know what does a doctor do? Doctor treats people who are sick. So, if you are sick, go to the clinic or hospital and meet the doctor. Next is teacher. T E A C H E R Teacher In Braille code, the dots for letter T is two, three, Four and five. For letter E is one and five. Letter A is one. Letter C is one and four. Letter H is one, two, and five. Letter E is one 
and five. Letter R is one, two, three, and five. And that is teacher in real good. Do you want to know what does a teacher do? Teacher teaches pupils in school. Like me, I'm teaching you, but through television. Next is chef. C H E F Chef In Braille code, the dots for letter C is 1 and 4 For letter H is 1, 2 and 5 Letter E is 1 and 5. Letter F is 1, 2 and 4. And that is Chef in Braille Code. Do you want to know what does a chef do? Chef cooks delicious meal for the customers like us. Mmm, yummy food! Next is dentist. D E I S T Dentist In Braille code, the dots for letter D is 1, 4, and 5 For letter E is 1 and 5 Letter N is 1, 3, 4, and 5. Letter T is 2, 3, 4, and 5. Letter I is 2, and four. Letter S is two, three, and four. Letter T is two, three, four, and five. And that is dentist in real code. Do you want to know what does a dentist do? Dentists fix people's teeth like us. So, if you want beautiful teeth, go and meet your dentist. Let's move to the next activity. Guess the correct answers. Look at the picture. He puts up fires and rescues people. Who is he? Correct! Firefighter. He is a firefighter. 
Next, she treats people who are sick. Who is she? Correct, doctor. She is a doctor. Next, he has a farm where he grows vegetables and fruits. Who is he? Correct, farmer. He is a farmer. Next, she teaches students in a primary school. Who is she? Correct, teacher. She is a teacher. Last question. He cooks delicious meal for the customers. Who is he? Correct. Chef. He is a chef. Wow, you guys are so clever. Now, let's move to the next activity. Write the correct answers. First question. He is a dentist. What does he do? Great! He fixed people's teeth. Second question. He is a farmer. What does he do? Yes, he grows vegetables and fruits. Third question. She is a teacher. What does she do? Good job. She teaches students in school. Fourth question. He is a firefighter. What does he do? Brilliant! He puts out fires. Last question. She is a doctor. What does she do? Good! She treats people who are sick. Wow, you guys are so clever. Now, let's move to the next activity. Fill in the blanks with the correct answers. First question. A blank cooks delicious food. A Doctor B. Farmer C. Chef D. Firefighter So, what's the answer? Correct! C. Chef A chef cooks delicious food. Second question. A blank fix people's teeth. A 
dentist B teacher C farmer D doctor So what's the answer Correct A dentist A dentist fix people's teeth Third question A blank teaches students in school A firefighter B teacher C farmer D dentist So what's the answer Correct B teacher A teacher teaches students in school Fourth question A blank grows vegetables and fruits A doctor B chef C dentist D farmer So what's the answer Correct D farmer A farmer grows vegetables and fruits Last question A blank puts out fires A teacher B dentist C firefighter D chef So what's the answer Correct C firefighter A firefighter puts out fires Just to recap what we have learned today What kind of occupations we have learned? Yes, correct. We have learned about firefighter, farmer, doctor, teacher, dentist, and chef. Every job is noble and important because it provides products or services that people need. All right, we are done for today. I hope you can understand what we have learned today. See you next time. Stay safe. Stay at home. Goodbye.